The kidneys play an important role in the body. They filter the blood removing waste products and excess salt and water. If the kidneys become damaged, they falter in their task, causing fluid and waste to build up in your blood, leaving the blood polluted. Finding out that you have early diabetic kidney disease can alert you that your kidneys are in danger. It is important to take steps to protect your kidneys before the problem advances. People who develop diabetic kidney disease usually have no symptoms early on. Diabetic kidney diseases usually cause no symptoms until at least 75% of your kidney's function is lost. And people who have the condition often produce normal amounts of urine. Doctors rely on tests that measure protein called albumin level in the urine and blood tests to evaluate the level of kidney function. When the kidneys are working normally, they prevent protein from leaking into the urine. So finding protein in the urine is a sign that the kidneys are in trouble. You may be told that you have microalbuminuria or moderately increased albuminuria. That simply means that you have trace amounts of protein in your urine. Key complication of diabetic kidney disease is more advanced kidney disease called chronic kidney disease. This can progress eventually leading to kidney failure and the need for dialysis or kidney transplantation. Treatment. Keep your blood sugar in the right range, usually with hemoglobin A1C target below 7%. Keep your blood pressure below 130 over 80, especially if you have more than 300 mg of albumin in your urine per day. Doctors usually recommend specific types of blood pressure medicine for people who have diabetes and kidney diseases. Examples include ACE inhibitors and angiotensin II receptor blockers, also called ARBs, because they decrease the amount of protein in your urine and can prevent or slow the progression of diabetes-related kidney disease. Side effects include possible dry cough, allergy, and high potassium level. Your doctor needs to check your blood test a few weeks after starting either of these medications. Women who are pregnant or attempting to get pregnant should not take ACE inhibitors or angiotensin receptor blockers as these can cause birth defects. Lifestyle changes can also help. Limit the amount of salt you eat, quit smoking, lose weight if you are overweight. Even small changes can make a difference. Get at least 30 minutes of exercise activity on most days of the week. Lower your cholesterol, eat less saturated fat. Avoid medicines called NSAIDs or anti-inflammatory medications such as ibuprofen or naproxen as this can cause kidney damage. Call your doctor now or seek immediate medical care if you have new swelling, blood in your urine, much less urine than normal, or if you have no urine. Thank you for listening. If you like this video, please click the like button, hit subscribe, and ring the bell. Be healthier.